Hello, Green. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast. Brought to you by uh, the 20th Dimension. All right. So, um, <clears throat> channel with Phyllis Schneider in the past. I don't remember when. I don't know if I'm going to channel him today, though, but uh, this is connected to Phil Schneider. If you know the story of him, he was underground and and uh, they connected to gray aliens and got shot by him. You can see his fingers missing. And if that's fake, why are they wasting? I mean, why would you waste your time if that was all fake? Why would you even do anything? Just a sigh off of some bizarre reason? Things they want to cover up. So. I believe that why Phil Schneider had to come out about it. So yeah, he's a ge uh, geologist. Yeah, he was underground do drilling for underground bases, basically. And they, it was around Dulce, and they discovered a an alien, you know, a Zeta uh, crypt, you can say. And there was like a Zeta war there, or something around those lines. Uh, and he went around and talked to people about it. You know, he did talks on it. So, and then he ended up committing suicide, supposedly, which not likely. So, uh, yeah, it was a touchy subject. So, apparently his father was connected to the Philadelphia experiment, where they tried to make a, 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 a ship disappear, which I believe they did. They actually went back in time. And, uh, yeah, and that's when it, when it came back into this time. This is back in 1943, so I believe they had some kind of alien technologies connected to it also. I don't think it was just... They might not have known exactly what the hell they were getting. I mean, it's an experiment. So, of course, it's going to have people disappear and things like that. So, I believe they did more of those experiments. They did in Philadelphia, off the... out in the water a little bit, I believe, but I believe they did it out in the Pacific Ocean a lot, too. So they don't have people talking about it anymore. And then there's Project uh, Montauk. Montauk. Or the Montauk Project. However you want. And that's where mind control comes from. Uh, energy of the people that are getting energy attacks. I believe that was the... It was on like upstate New York. Or maybe not upstate. It was around Long Island, New York. The Montauk... Uh, that's like a Montauk Air Force Base. It's no longer there. I guess this is what inspired Stranger Things. So it's funny. I don't, I don't get a good vibe from Stranger Things. I've never seen it. Uh, but when you have a, a show about mind control and, you know, and people are watching like it's entertainment, not realizing they're being mind controlled right now, <clears throat> I don't think they'll find it very entertaining <laughs> if they realize what was happening to them. So, so anyway, um, yeah. So Montauk, that stuff... Yeah, it can get you killed. <laughs> Meaning that when you start exposing that type of stuff, yeah, you end up dead. Same thing with the Philadelphia Experiment. I guess Philadelphia Experiment, they're both kind of connected to each other. So, yeah, some pretty big stuff. It's, yeah, and then people laugh about all the stuff. And it's, you know, when you get to the heavy core of it, it's not, fun. it's not. That's when you disappear. That's when you conveniently commit suicide. So, yeah, so Montauk is a pretty. I mean, they made a TV show out of it with Stranger Things. It's just, I mean, that's not the whole show, but it's part of it. It's not funny. It's not. I wouldn't call it entertainment. It's. I guess they it's soft disclosure for people that are, are not likely to wake up ever. So yeah, it's. So it's happened to those energies. Uh, see where we get with that. <laughs> But yeah, with Phil Schneider connected to the Philadelphia experiment, it all kind of just gets more and more bizarre. So I don't know if this has to do with our awakening. You know, humanity's not interested in the, I mean, some are, but most aren't. So I guess you're not worried about that too much. But yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of screwed up out there. Okay. Um, I'm doing this right for once. It's on We have private sessions. Private sessions. We have a scheduler uh, for this. I'm on the... I think I'm on the 20th now. 
19th to 20th, same situation here. We have a webinar, sign up, social network, rabbit, find scenes. And we have the talk coming up, and you don't have to wear your mask. And uh, um, that we're having the uh, the lectures, and it's mostly a, a mask-free zone overall until you're, unless you're walking around. So, All right, it's pretty cool. Okay, off to uh, bizarreness. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I guess I can connect to some of Phil Schneider's energy a little bit and go into the Philadelphia experiment and so on. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because pretty much the Montauk, they're using that right now. That's, that's what energy, people are getting energy attacks, mind control. People want to get fast food. They want to do this, want to do that. That's all Montauk stuff. So, yeah. You're, uh, we're living it. <laughs> so the, the Air Force Base, oh, that's right, I forgot. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this is the Air Force. It's closed down now. Uh, but this is in the, up, this is on Long Island, I think, at the edge of Long Island. Looks nice and creepy. <laughs> But so once they figured out how to do it, they moved it somewhere else. Was you figure out the mind control and things like that? Here's the Philadelphia experiment, which they were successful with. The court, you know, once again, I don't think they're. I think they're actually doing it. I don't believe it. So obviously, your average human, you know, they're so stuck in their little television world. So that's kind of the idea. So, yeah, they put up all this TV stuff and they even made a movie about the Philadelphia experiment. Probably because I felt guilty <laughs> of the shit they're doing. That's really. Now, I believe the, the Stranger Things is more like they're just putting in people's faces and see if they care. <laughs> Most don't, so. All entertainment. So, similar to like the X Files. Yeah, so. It's like a soft disclosure. So, yeah, what they're doing in government, they're doing crazy. That's what they call it an experiment. They don't give a shit what happened. They don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah, Philadelphia experiment, no doubt, was very real. So, all right, uh, blessings. Here we go. <sighs> <clears throat> Greetings, this is the consciousness of Phil Schneider. You can say I was a prophet, a modern day prophet. And you know what happens to prophets? They eventually discover their demise. So the truths can be very difficult for people to accept. When you have the Zeta Gray beings that are an enemy of the people. Humanity shuts off. It's like it's too bizarre for the truth to even make any sense. It does not mean it's not true. It is true. It's very true. Many humans humans here, the human idea is basically is the American dream or the world dream of just normality. What is sold as normal? When people start talking about aliens and manipulations, they look the other way. Of course, many are opening up. Uh, on different levels of themselves, but even then it's still a little bit too crazy. So my interaction was basically to wake up society the best I could. Uh, just a, a little a, a small person basically, but still has a, a large effect, a big wave. I'm still being talked about today, even if I'm not quite understood. Of course, humans here, reason why they discern it, obviously they don't have a Zeta Gray walking around zapping everyone. I believe they'll start believing it then. <laughs> and of course, it's covered up. They're actually kind of sad that, I mean, they're sad that I was ever, I mean, they didn't want that to be brought out to begin with, but disclosure must 
occur. Same as your Area 51, that being disclosed also. In a different way, you don't have aliens zapping people, but maybe that would get people's attention. Uh, obviously, people are not ready for that environment. doesn't mean you actually need it, but it's to, it's to get people's attention. Of course, too outrageous, too crazy for their normal world to accept, but it does not mean it's not true. It's true, but yes, once again, the truth is very hard to... Because there are positive beings here also, but the dark ones are very dark, as some of you know. Yeah, I mean, you see how dark humans are. Well, just take an alien and put the same thing there. Yeah, they just... I mean, humans want to eradicate beings and terrible things that are going on in Africa. So it's no different. So you're finding your truth. What is your truth? If you want to more know the truth, the truth will find you. If you're ready for it. Most aren't ready for it, as you can tell. This is why a lot of this is buried. Here's some truth, and most of the people bury it. Well, because, once again, they're set up in civilization that's been set up for them, and they're just ready for that. They're not ready for the real deal. The real deal can be very, yeah, traumatizing. <laughs> uh, trust me, some of us going to you know, underground tunnels, that's not exact, you're not exactly a normal person if you're working underground all the time. So people are trying to figure out their problems here on the surface. Uh, try working underground to find those problems. <laughs> so, of course, you do need people that are connected to the positive energies uh, to heal those that are going through a lot of tough lifetimes to bring you information about what's truly happening here. Well, to show the dark side, of course, there's a light side, but the dark side many do cling, cling on to because they're part, you know, programmed for it. Uh, they have not fully faced themselves. The dark side of the universe is even worse than what you're seeing here. So you have not quite seen nothing yet. You've heard wolf stories here and there. Some of you have heard it. Yes, yeah, souls being evaporated right in front of you. Those things do exist. That's extreme, but does exist. So you're just understanding more of your what your universe has to offer. So. You're going into a new era. <laughs> yeah, how much can you handle? Yes, we realize people are connected to the secret space program, but there's things out there more bizarre than that. I mean, that's okay, but that's like a cakewalk compared to what's out there. <laughs> that truly is not that big of a deal. Compared to what is not surfaced, not shown itself. I mean, some of you have tapped into it, but it's beyond any secret space. <laughs> I mean, yes, there's difficulties there, but there are anomalies out there far worse. <laughs> so, and you're getting to understand that here, because you do have some of their effects here. It's not all of it. So you do have some effects, not completely, because this is a prison plan, but not to the full extreme of it. Like, you're not going to have tattoos on you, and you're having to get up at a certain time, like the Army. Basically, think of, like, the Army worldwide. We have to get up at a certain time, eat a certain type of food, and live a certain type of life. And that's it. That is the ultimate prison plan. At least one of them, at least. Obviously, you can go further than that. So you're on a prison, you're like a prison plan at light, technically. Obviously, it's not that light, but it's lighter than a lot of other ones. So it's giving you a little bit more access to what you're going through. So you're allowed, to, yeah, so this world has a little piece of everything. It has a piece of positive, piece of complete insanity. It has a little bit of everything for you to decide what's right for you. So some souls, when you truly want to know the truth, some people do just leave the earth. I mean, when you're, yeah, some people just, they find what they need. Like you, you finish your mission, basically, and then you leave. Or you're here to awaken others, whatever it might be. Not to say you have to be afraid of leaving, but it, it is true. Many can actually, I mean, when you're truly finding your truth, some just instantly die. Well, you're going to the next level. <laughs> of course, humanity has a trouble accepting that, but we haven't quite understand the higher dimensions because you can still tap into those higher dimensions. It's, humanity hasn't been trained by it because, you know, you're under authoritarian uh, manipulation. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a... This world is a hostage, you could say, in the universe. It's one of them. And as you, many of you, I believe some of you have in, insectoid 
visitations, things like that, and obviously mental manipulation, which is very, very well, they run programs all the time. They run mind control programs all the time. Especially those of you that are waking up more, they try to get you to self-terminate, basically. So, yeah, they truly want people to erase themselves. I mean, obviously, when the time is over, you just leave the earth. That's different. When you're ready to go, you're ready to go. But others are trying to force you to go. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> you know, it's like when you're ready to go, you just leave your body and go home. Just simple. You know the time is coming. It's time to go. Everything is okay. Or you just have a premonition. But others, these beings are manipulating. They just want to just take yourself out. Overdose, whatever it might be. Yeah. The, yeah, these beings are not friendly. Yes, they run your government. They just want to pull out the worst out of everybody all right i'll leave you uh leave you with that and take uh but yes i'll come through more in the future give you a different dose of your planet yes this is a prison planet at a fifth dimensional range meaning it's bad but it's not horrifying but it's there are places that are just beyond yeah, you can make a TV show out of it. Be glad you're watching the TV show, not living it. But there's plenty of that out there. Uh, you've seen a lot of atrocities here, but you're here to face them and heal them. All the things like uh, with Africa, all is an alien, yeah, manipulation. Oh, yeah, definitely. But it has a human element. To me and the humans are saying, sure, I'll sell my fellow humans out, no problem. Uh, obviously, your queen or the, who's controlling your queen is doing that doing that quite well as you can see and it's a soap opera with the queen's family recently typical and they're prisoners of their own lives too i mean just because you're in royals it doesn't mean you're own prison and they are prisoners so. Rather, Philadelphia experiment energies. We are, yes, not from this earth. Alien life has infiltrated this world a long time ago. You're just re remembering time travel, how to use it. Well, of course, I first abuse it. Uh, so they're using the Philadelphia experiment to control timelines, uh, to manifest not exactly the Earth's demise, but well, sort of manifest war, uh, manifest many things. Yeah, as you can tell, they're getting a lot of people to pull in. So your galactic war is slowly unraveling itself. Yeah, the 19. 40s, yeah, was an, an alien imprint. Uh, there's a lot of other crashes that happened that was not, remember, a lot of them are actually in the oceans that were captured during the war. And humans, yeah, if you know, finding an alien you know, out in sea, a Zeta, try that. We'll see how that feels for you. <laughs> so you're just basically unlocking your planet. Yes, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> It's not just fake. It is beyond that. <laughs> it's like, do you have beings here that feel like they have so much power and they use it and you call it reality? <laughs> so breaking, I mean, you might think everything's fake and that's cute and fuzzy and everything, but it goes much, it's much more than that. It's, it's getting you to do what they want. <laughs> it's literally controlling what you do on a daily basis. That's beyond everything being fake. <laughs> and that's hard to break free from. Some of you have had success with it, but it's very difficult to break out completely. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so further experiments are, yes, yeah, they got more sophisticated with their time traveling currently. And it's constantly going on. Yes, yeah, a lot of it is in Russia at this time. Uh, Russia and the U.S., everybody is actually friends with each other. Well, they have a neutral connection. 
all this infighting about how they don't like everybody is kind of just smoke and mirrors. I mean, that's for the outside people to believe, but overall, I mean, it's real, as you would call it, but it's really, it's all manufactured, as you know, but it's, I mean, it's real, but it's, you know, but just to keep the human, the human experiment going. <laughs> So, yeah, eventually people will see alien life uh, and possibly your universe opening itself up a little bit so you can get a little bit of a glimpse of what you got yourselves into. So, yeah, this can be exciting. It's uh, You need all the healers you can get at this time because uh, it's just a lot of soul growth here. Yeah, more than you would beyond your understanding. People wonder, well, it's an alien soul growth. It's a universal soul growth. It's how long are you going to take the pain until you allow more to awaken. Obviously, many are trying to awaken things before everybody's ready. There is a timeline to the world to, and its awakened vibration. The rest of the universe is still... Well, some are just holding back. Let's put it that way. If like humanity here is holding back, a lot of the beings in the universe are this is rough territory. <laughs> I mean, if you truly want to open up your planet, yeah, visit mind control, time traveling, mind, there's different types of time travel to look into, but basically your government is beyond your government. It's not your government anyway. It's an alien presence, basically. But, I mean, you're human. It's a human, an alien, you know, treaty, you can say. <laughs> Yeah, if you see insectoid beings walking around, <laughs> several of them, that's your awakening. So people aren't ready for these things. Yeah, they just want to listen to sound bowls and heal. We understand that. <laughs> but there's a there's other things here they need to see. So those healers that are healing are allowing these creatures to be seen. So if you like you see, if you see a giant bug walk around, don't be surprised. Of course, he's just minding his own business. <laughs> But, you know, you're kind of going into that phase. That hasn't occurred yet. Uh, but they are here. <laughs> well, giant bugs and everybody else, of course. Yeah, just that your universe has a lot more darkness than some might want to realize. Obviously, they're seeing it here, but there's a glimpse of it. It's not the full enchilada. There's a lot more out there. Uh, you can say it's beyond human understanding. Not really. I believe some of you have a pretty good idea of it. You're living it. It's just, yes, breaking out of the mind control is key at this time. Greetings. I am Project Montauk, Montauk Project. Yes, a archon being to possess the mind. So yes, this is the, the essence of the universe of control. The dark side of it is going into the mind and taking over it. Obviously not advertising it anywhere and calling you crazy just thinking about it. Uh, now, to heal it is to know it. To Now, these beings are doing because they're in fourth dimension. So for them to affect you like that, they, they get closer to your reality. But it's coming from a fourth dimensional environment. Obviously, you don't see them, so that's their advantage. So this is basically a universe attack on our planet. Now, it's been going on for thousands of years. Just your humans are like, you know, that are government connected. They just attack the humans, things like that. <laughs> Well, some are just, they want you to pay attention to what they want you to pay attention to while they're doing what they're doing. <laughs> now, those are your highest elites, yes. They have pretty much lost their minds, basically. Most of them are drug addicts, to give you an idea, if that even matters to any of you. Uh, but yes, this has been going on for thousands of years, but it hasn't is has gotten stronger. 
Oh, your time of Rome is another example of this type of mind control. Somewhat in Greece, but some just want to get out their aggravation. Uh, but Rome is a good example. It's a, the, 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 the dictatorship. That's a, a form of mind control. You know, they use pamphlets and things like that. Of course, there's alien technologies doing it. But it was nowhere near as strong as it is now. Of course, you can say mind control created the Dark Ages. So alien beings trying to possess humans, things like that kind. So the, the, the darkness of your universe, what it comes down to it is mind control. <laughs> So as you understand more of that, you can heal it and connect to your pure self, your authentic self, you're releasing all these attacks. Yeah, because they they have the advantage currently for now. So what are, I mean, this isn't going to be for everyone to see, but those that want to see it, there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, but those that won't want to see it, obviously are afraid of it, and that's all right. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, so you're going to a frequency of allowing more of these beings that are causing attacks to be seen. Like, you get an energy attack, and then you look, and it's like, holy shit, I just saw something. I believe some of you have already had that happen, and that will start to incur even more. Trust me, many of you have had it. You've had an okay day, and all of a sudden you feel depressed, or feel something's going on, or self-sabotage. You feel just, oh, that's them. Now, they... They do give you breaks, uh, but then, yeah, they have like a little, like a, uh, what do you call it, a schedule. <laughs> but they let you go, give you five days, and then they come back to you. It all depends on what you're doing, too. Especially if, now, sometimes when you're tapping into their energies of control, sometimes they, they allow it to, I mean, they allow you to expose it, because who the hell is going to believe you anyway? <laughs> so they kind of like make you... Look, like, make a fool out of yourself, basically, because most people aren't going to believe it. They're just going to look the other way and go back to, yeah, mind control is on so many, it's like a book on mind control. And your governments have it. <laughs> of course, they're under control, too. <laughs> Boy, is it. Well, look at your current presidency, you know, USA. So, it's at such a level. It's sophistication, but it's basically human to alien. It's, it's an alien manipulation, but it's, it's it's human elites allowing it to occur. So they see these beings that are doing this. Your elites, your government, they see these beings. Yes, they're not human. Uh, some of them are humanoid, but a lot of them aren't. A lot of them are insectoid beings. So, I mean, look at the ant popular. Look at ants. You know, they just follow the line. <laughs> well, what are humans doing? Doing the same damn thing. <laughs> they do it a little bit differently, but still the same damn thing. So it's a level of mind control, unlike any, you can't see it. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. So that's how your universe controls your planet. <laughs> so as more of you realize this, re heal it, it exposes itself. Once again, who the hell is going to care? It puts itself on TV shows. It's like laughing at society more than just trying to heal it. <laughs> It's it's kind of yeah your Stranger Things, it's putting it out there for humans and for humans to discover. So it's like a little, little nugget of information. It's up for the people because it's so bizarre. People aren't ready to take this in. Some of you have already had your experiences. You know there's strange things out there. It gets more bizarre and bizarre, beyond your. Um, we don't have the uh, the name of what is this your your Utah your experimental area in Utah. Oh, we don't have the name of it this time, but your uh, uh, the farm is kind of possessed by a military base. Yeah, that's that's what's yeah. A lot of my control is happening there also. So, all right, we'll just leave you all. Uh, just so to heal all this is to keep digging into it. Uh, the more you release it from yourself, like those are causing you mentally attacking you, you can start to see them more clearly. Why not? Some of them are reptilian, but it's mostly insectoid. Some are archon, but it's more insectoid. So. Well, it's like an insect being like crawling on you, trying to program you. <laughs> oh. 
Nothing. Uh, yes, I guess it would make a great Stranger Things episode. <laughs> so. 